what is up everyone hey guys what's going on welcome back to the vlog channel today we have some exciting updates on the van as you guys can see we're inside yeah so if you made it to the end of the last van vlog you will know we had a nightmare with windows with glass for the rear of the van it i mean was so bad <laughs> so basically i don't know i think we explained in the last video but that mm. glass did not fit it did not we had like two different sets and it just wouldn't work yeah, the third was one great. was our lucky one wasn't yeah. it yeah uh so yeah we finished that last video we couldn't fit the glass and we waited a few more weeks uh we finally got glass they got new glass from a new manufacturer in stock yep we fitted it we'll show you that yeah. shortly <laughs> And we've got side glass, which we're going to fit We're going to fit soon. very, very soon. But I think it will really open up the van and it will just add so much yeah. light into it as well because it's still pretty dark back there. Just the back windows has added a lot of light. Oh, the yeah, other, for um, sure. I mean, the reason we haven't done the side glass already and haven't filmed that is because of the temperatures. We've had, like, below zero temperatures. It's been... It's been raining. It's been snowing. We've just had all yeah. kinds of, you know, just blo road, blockages road blockages to stop to stop us from getting on. Yeah, but we've got, like, a promise of some good warmer weather coming. Coming, yeah. hopefully fingers crossed <laughs> so promise the weather changes like it's never predicted right yeah uh but we did spend the meantime like ordering lots of stuff for mm -hmm. the van so we've, we've got, got lots of exciting things coming yeah um, well we've got a lot of stuff to show you guys today yeah first things first we're going to show you guys what we have done so far so starting with the floor we finished it we've yep. glued it in place and you might be thinking why did we only go up to here <laughs> yeah well that's because this floor is quite heavy so we decided we'll just go for the nice floor where you can see it Yep. and we'll go for a cheaper laminate that's hard wearing uh, for the garage area yeah. which is a lot lighter and it's made of basically cardboard yeah it doesn't have to be particularly nice in the garage area we wanted something a little bit nicer for this area because you're going to yeah. see it more i mean this is a high traffic area yeah. so this wood you're going to be able to sand down you know it's going to be really long lasting yeah uh, so we're going to be doing this and mm -hmm. then do you want to come see the windows yeah let me just get out of it <laughs> it's a bit of a Cabling, Hard one. yeah, cabling for the dash cam is going in. Not a dash cam, the reversing cam. Yeah. So yeah, this is the, the finish we got on the windows. I think it's good. So this is what the inside of the windows looks like. We've just got the seal around, and in all honesty, it looks pretty profesh, in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> I think we did a pretty good job. I mean, it was our first time fitting windows, so I think uh, we did pretty good. And it looks even better from the outside. No gaps. Yeah. Or anything. Literally, you can't see any of this sort of, you know, thing. And that's the color floor we went for, right? Gray. Yeah. Just grey. Just a nice grey for the, the garage area. Yeah, so we're going to be fitting that now. Um, I'm excited to just see like the whole floor finish to be honest. Yeah, so we've also got two more things to show you guys. The first is this insulation. Yep. Uh, I picked this up online because basically our local stores just did products like rock wall, which has wool in them, which isn't quite the most sustainable material. So we decided to go for this recycled polyester, uh, yep. which has a really high U, uh, is it U value? Not it's sure. like pretty good it's like it's good enough for the van it's good enough for houses yeah so yeah that's why we went for this we got four of them yeah, so, so yeah as you guys can see it will of course expand when we get out it will expand and yeah doesn't contain any animal products and is super good for the environment so these are the renergy solar panels and i mean how cool are these they are so flexible cool. thin i mean look at that i know like literally my card wallet slide that in there oh my god that <laughs> goes like, to show how thin that is that's there's mental literally no weight to it yeah, so it's super lightweight we have three of these and they're 175 watts a piece so that gives us a total of 525 watts over 500 watts for wow, these just from that these little things you that's know it's crazy so we'll be fitting those on the roof um yep. when we do the electrics yep so uh, I guess that's kind of like the next main thing that we'll be doing it after will we be finish with the, the floor. The floor. Uh, we've got a steep learning curve because we've got to connect these up in parallel, I believe. Yeah. And then uh, you get into charge controllers, <laughs> batteries, all that stuff. I literally have no stuff. clue about any of that stuff. Different gauges of cables, so yeah. And we're gonna do it. We're gonna do we're it. We're gonna do it. So although we have literally no idea how to do any electrics pretty much whatsoever, it's gonna be a big learning curve, isn't it? It is. So we're gonna leave the link in the description yeah. for these bad boys. They aren't just for vans, you can put them on boats, you yeah. can put them on a garage. I mean anything All sorts, yeah. Anywhere where you have a battery power bank that you wanna top up, you can use these solar Yeah, bands. we'll check we'll uh, we'll link them in the description. So doing the floor for the garage now. Yep. We've just cut this piece of wood which is going to be the frame to the bottom of our bed yeah and we thought it would be a nice way to kind of separate the two floors as well rather than kind of like butt up the floors to each other if that makes sense yeah so we'll have the frame in between yep and then the floor. this is what the floor will look like 
It's quite thin, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's only nice for the garage anyway. <laughs> nice and lightweight, like those solar panels. Exactly. That's what you want. Yeah. I just hope it goes together easily because sometimes these car this cardboard. Sometimes it's not the easiest. All right, so this is where we have gotten so far. Why does the first part always have to be the hardest? I know, but you've done a really good job of cutting that bit. It's okay. Uh, luckily for all these end pieces, we got a new chop saw and it's got like a laser on it. Yeah, so it shows that's you handy. It's, chop. it's so good. It's like making cutting <laughs> wood, like just so, so easy. So easy, yeah, you only need one marker really. Yeah, basically. So we've just got the rest of the floor to do. This is gonna be like the easiest part now, isn't it? Yeah, I'm literally just gonna cut a piece there. One here, chop off the end, put that piece there. Yep. It doesn't really matter what the pattern is, it's just the garage space. Exactly, and then same thing for here, we'll just do the same thing as we did on that side. Yeah. So hot to get the glue out. Slide it in there first. Uh -uh. Alright, so this is Matt's workshop. <laughs> It's a little bit messy, isn't it? It's become a mess. It's because we've got like so much stuff we've ordered, the bed there. Yeah. Roxy's like planning videos, aren't you? I'm planning some videos. Yeah. So I've got some uh, old furniture oh. and stuff I'm going to upcycle. And uh, look at this glass. Oh yeah, this is our window for the side. And these are all the ones that didn't fit from the back. Yeah, <laughs> so we've got a window collection in the garage. Yeah, so this is an opening side window and yeah. Well, it weighs enough for me not to be able to lift it easily with one hand. Yeah, it's quite heavy. So I'm quite worried because you know how you've got to glue it to the side of the van? Yeah. Well, when wind's coming, what's going to stop the wind oh. from getting behind it and just pulling it off? You have to silicone it quite... Quite tight, yeah. Quite tight, Also, yeah. a little sneak peek. This is the mattress for the van as well behind right there. Yeah. Um, we've bought a lot of things without really thinking about where we're going to store it. So it's kind of just living in here, isn't it? So come here, I'll show you why this laser is genius. It might be on most saws by now, but this yeah. is the uh, saw we had before we've had for like 10 years. Yeah. So when you push that straight up against there, yeah, you can easily see you've got a straight cut. But because uh, the back of the uh, van is angled, yeah. I need to go like this a little bit. So I need to pull it Away, out. Yeah. And that, that laser line shows me exactly stays. where it will look both ends so I can just position it like that and my fingers are definitely clear so yeah. hold that in for me that's it that's it and it's like nice sharp blade no scuffs on the wood yeah it's really good Let's easy go peasy all right so we just are using a wood glue to basically stick all the panels down but the glue is so hard isn't it it's very hard for roxy so i think i've got a little hack <laughs> maybe i don't know if this works yet oh does it work I d yeah. okay i, I guess it's because it's quite cold it's just uh the glue's really cold inside so it's really hard for me to squeeze <laughs> it's, it it's a lot oh actually okay you just gotta do little pumps. Yeah, that works. I'm just, do you wanna try it? Yeah. So just do little continuous pumps. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. No! No! Why is it, it keeps coming out? <laughs> oh my god, I didn't realize it kept coming out. Look at that massive pile of glue there. Oh my god, that's a disaster. Oh my god. What do I do when it's over? Um, How do I finish it? <laughs> uh, you just release it by pulling that trigger. This one. Was this a genius hack or like? Of, okay. until you kind of That's don't enough. pay attention like me yeah. hey there you go okay let's just ignore the fact that i put a massive puddle of glue everywhere yeah let's uh oh my god it's going everywhere now all right let's fit this board <laughs> i feel like this one is going to be super extra stuck on isn't it oh yeah definitely so you kind of have to do it together don't you <laughs> otherwise it's going to be a nightmare to fit yeah let's put it in there first Yep. You can keep pushing in as we get down. Yep. There you go. Perfect. It glues like dry so quickly, doesn't it? Yeah. I've got my slippers on because it's really cold in here. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to know about that mishap with the glue. <laughs> this is how the floor is looking so far. We have managed to get a really nice finish, but the only thing is we are now getting to this area and as you guys can see it's a tiny tiny thin line right there that matt is going to have to cut which i think is going to be quite tricky but we'll see if we can get it to look okay to be honest though this whole area is going to be pretty built up anyway so you're not really going to see the floor underneath but obviously we want a good finish too 
Here he comes. <laughs> Did you get the cup? <laughs> what? Why are you filming? <laughs> I just wanted to see. <laughs> you got the cup. Opposite of what we wanted to. Oh no! Wait, what about the other bit? Will it work? I'll have a look. <laughs> Forgot about that bit. <laughs> In case you guys missed it, he cut this bit, but it's meant to be like the other way. So, like, he cut this bit out instead of this bit. So, hopefully, it should technically work. Like, what the other bit, basically, the rest of this should work for this panel. I snaps it. It's, oh no. It's very weak. Okay. I mean uh. <laughs> where's the where's the rest of this? Yeah, so the line's gone. I don't know how you managed that. <laughs> it's everything wrong. <laughs> it's actually terrible. I mean we could use this panel. No. Nah, yeah, you could, but it would just be in two pieces. Why is everything wrong? I don't know. Oh, because we cut it off this side. Yeah. You can't cut it off that side. Yeah. Oh Three hole. It's a good thing we've got a whole pack spare. All right, I think we've managed to get the perfect last piece. Got it the right way around this time. <laughs> yeah. It is a really tricky piece, though, isn't it? Yeah. There it's, we go. Oh, yeah. Can I say a little bit. That's fine. You're not even going to see that corner there. That's fine. I've left room for expansion anyway because we've also got the walls coming down. Like I've got a box going over the wheel. Yeah, arch, exactly. So there won't be any gaps, but it's good to have the expansion. All right, guys. So the floor is now completely finished. We've just put like some bits of weight here and there to kind of, you know, make it stuck down because it was lifting around the corners a little bit. But it's looking good, isn't it? Yeah, it's looking good. And I think we should show the windows. From the yeah, outside. we haven't showed you guys the windows yet. This is what they look like. I think they look pretty slick. Yeah, and look, notice how no gaps. The other one was like out yeah, here. Yeah, there was loads of gaps. It's terrible. Here, it's like really nice and flush. That looks good. Yeah. Yeah, it all looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty professional considering we've never fit windows on any kind of vehicle before. Yeah. But I mean, we did it all the proper way, didn't we? Never done anything like it. And we're going to be doing it again for those side windows. Yep. Uh, so we're going to be doing that and we're going to be insulating the walls as well. Yep. And then once we've insulated the walls, then we can start building the walls. Building the wall, and yeah. And the frame for the bed. Exactly. So, yeah. Looking good. Lots to do. So we're starting on the side window today. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a bit of a task, I think, but we'll get there. I mean, we've done the back windows already, so. Yeah, we've already centre punched. Yeah. Don't know if you can see. Oh, you can see that, just like we did Little before. Holes, yeah. So now we play a game of join the dots. Yeah, and there's the window. Yeah. So here's the thing. This window is twice the size. Yeah. Twice the size of any of the twice windows the, in the back. Twice the weight as well. <laughs> twice the weight and the same amount of silicon i might order more <laughs> <laughs> i think this is the bottom that's yeah. where i think water sort of comes out and yeah, yeah it's a it's an opening window it's quite stiff though it's quite stiff it's gonna need working in but i'm excited i feel like you know putting the side windows will definitely add way more light to the van on the inside because even yeah. though we put the back windows on it's still pretty dark but the back windows let a lot of light in but i think yeah. the other sides is gonna really open it up yeah for so sure. let's get to it <laughs> Sadly, I brushed up against the silicon tube and my coat is now ruined. <laughs> yeah, you've had that coat years. Rest in peace. It's it served me well though. <laughs> it might, well, it might come out. Maybe. But this anyway. is the window. Yeah, this is We've the window. We've got to it, don't we? Oh, you, you really can't see it from the inside. You oh, take the camera. hang on. Just siliconed it. Yeah. It's got to clamp it now, don't we? Yeah, the window's really... It's really stiff. Really stiff. Try I and shut it. it. Imagine if it didn't shut, we just had a hole in the van again, a repeat of last time. 
Yeah, well we better clamp it now and yeah, we'll do the window another day. Yeah. I guess. The we'll probably one. do the other window off camera because we've done enough enough windows now. True. So we'll do that other window off camera and then we'll be insulating and building the walls. Yep. All right, so the window is now in. It's just clamped to dry. We're yeah. going to leave it like that for an hour, right? I'm glad that these side windows fitted first time. I know. We went through so many on the back. <laughs> These we ordered first time. Yeah, they were good. Good fit good. straight away. And they're from the same company, so they've redeemed themselves. Yeah. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. If anyone's interested, we'll link them down below as well, because yeah. I feel like some people might ask. I think it was just campers, but yeah. I'll double check that. Okay. And now we better move on to electrical stuff in the next video. Yeah. Maybe some structural stuff. I don't know. Like we've building got building the walls and stuff, insulating. Yeah. Obviously, that comes after electrical, but, but we've got solar panels to fit as well. Yeah. Dem oh, we've got stuff from Dometic coming. Yeah, that's exciting. I actually don't know what we're doing, so we'll see. I guess yeah. but yeah we'll see you guys in the next one that's it Stay for this tuned. one cheers bye, bye.